here's what I'm asking you to do. Walk away from the 97%. Don't use their vocabulary. Don't use their excuses. Don't use their method of drift and neglect. Won't even walk around the block for their health. Won't even eat an apple a day. Won't even take the time to refine their philosophy for a better life. Walk away and join the 3%. Guess how many people can retire from the income of their own personal resources when it comes time to retire? Answer, 5%. In America, 5% of the people are independent. 95% are dependent. Take charge of your own retirement, you can multiply it at least by five. Let the government take care of it, some company take care of it, you got to divide by five. <laughs> I'm asking you to take charge of your own retirement, take charge of your own life. It happens to be one of the titles of my own cassette program, Take Charge of Your Own Life. That's what we've talked about here all morning. Take charge of your own day. Don't have days like most people have. You'll wind up broken poor. Pennies, no treasures. Trinkets, no values. Change it all. And it starts as simple as an apple a day. It starts as simple as the first book of your new library. It starts as simple as the first journal that you get and make the first entry that when people see it will say this is the beginning of a study of a serious student. They're going to be healthy. They're going to be powerful. They're going to be rich. They're going to have it all. Look, they've committed themselves to a whole new journey. I'm asking you to do that. But what's easy to do is what? Easy not to do. But walk away from the 90%. Walk away from the 97%. Walk away from the 95%. Don't go where they go. Don't do what they do. Don't talk like they talk. Develop you a whole new language. Be part of the few. Guess when I went and got this little book, Richest Man in Babylon. Guess when I went and got it. The same day I heard about it. I went and got it. Somebody says, well, Mr. Rohn, does that make you different than most everybody else? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Somebody says, well, why is that? We don't know. <laughs> what do we know? You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. All we know is some get the spark and say, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change my health. I'm going to change my relationship with my family. I'm going to change everything. And if it starts with an apple, if it starts with a walk around the block, if it starts with a book, if it starts with a journal, whatever it starts with, I'm a candidate. I'm ready to go and change my life. I invite you on that journey. Once you look back on it, you will never turn back. You'll never go back to the old ways and the old language and the old neglect. Never. Cardiovascular problems in alone in America create over a thousand funerals a day. And 70% of it is neglect. I'm asking you not to hope they're going to fix this out here next year so that you'll be healthier. I'm asking you to pick up some new disciplines so that you will be healthier. Drive yourself to do it. Book by book, entry by entry. It's all available for you. It's how you feel about yourself. Understanding self-worth. That is the real challenge. Once you begin to understand your own self-worth, I'm telling you, your life will begin to soar. You can walk out of the darkness into the light. You can walk out of heartbreak into confidence. Understanding your own self-worth. Here's a good phrase to take home. Each of us must understand how valuable all of us are. But here's the second part. All of us must understand how valuable each of us are. Is your contribution valuable to the whole? I'm telling you, without you, the whole is incomplete. I'm telling you, it takes each of us to make all of us. Each of us with a contribution. Think how powerful we can be if each of us make a better contribution. In fact, John Kennedy said it best. Surely it's the cry of the new Democratic Party. John Kennedy's ancient words. And he said what? Ask for everything and see what you wind up with. No! No. No. John Kennedy said what? Ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what? What you can do for your country. I'm asking you to consider yourself valuable enough to make an important contribution to all of us. You make an important contribution to all of us. And then in return, you get to draw from all of us and the gifts that we bring to each of us. 
That is the power. And if you walk away from here today with that new refined attitude, I'm telling you, you can have whatever you want. You can have the health you want. You can have the income you want. You can have the future you want. Your relationship with your family will start to improve immediately. All you got to do is take it serious and do not neglect. Like an apple a day, do not neglect. Like a new book of your new library, do not neglect. An entry in your journal, do not neglect. Don't get lazy in learning. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of health. Learning is the beginning of ecstasy and joy and pleasure and lifestyle and all the treasures that are available for the human family. I'm asking you, start a whole new process today. You'll be happy that you did. Your life will change dramatically. And then what I want back, just as a favor from you to me, let me know about it. I like to get the letters. You cannot believe the letters I've got in my files from teenagers and business, business executives now all over the world. Some of them have to be translated from other languages where I go do seminars like this today. I want that to be part of your story and your experience. That's why I came by to make this kind of investment. I don't need to work this hard, except for that. I could be riding my motorcycle on the Jeep trails today. Right. I don't need to work this hard, but I do need the experience because I want the return. I want this to affect your bank account today. I'm asking you not just to take notes. If you'll go home and work on this stuff, I'm telling you it'll change your life and your future. And that's why I'm here. I want it to happen for you like it happened for me.